Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel World of Mike the part work wrangler. Tonight we've got the A uh, the Angel, sorry, the Anglefish. Um and this comes from a company called Timu. Um I'm a lover of building wooden models and bits and pieces and when I got this I thought this feels really really thin. Apparently it's called a paper art, but it's actually if we look inside here, um it's more like a I mean they say paper but it's more like a sort of flexi material um now we're going to be doing this today because we have got some disruption to our normal programming which unfortunately there's nothing i can do about that until it sorts itself out um so we're going to be doing that today at the time of recording this video i have received the next uh, package from diago stimi so next week i'm going to go and pick that up from my office and then i will be able to um you know, get it all uh, up and running and sort it all out. Um, but the one, the thing that's in the Diagostini box is extremely exciting and uh, Optimus Prime is on its way as we speak. Um, so let's take a look at this. Inside here, we don't get any instructions whatsoever for like this piece goes here and that piece goes here. It doesn't really tell you, it's basically all in like Chinese and stuff. So what we've got here is a diagram and it's pretty obvious that they go, you know, there's numbers and that that feed and we back it all up into here. So I'm assuming we just start with here and work our way through. As you can see, normally on these type of things, there would be like a number next to the, the part that we're using to get that all in. In this case, it doesn't seem to be. But from first things first, I think normally you can just sort of like push it out, but this thing seems very delicate. So what I'm going to do is get a bit of side cutters here um, and see, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my, I think if we use this might be a better option because I can just score it like that and then that should release it very carefully. I don't want to press too hard because if I press too hard it's going to cause it to not come out. but. This is a very unusual material. I'm not used to working with this type of material. It's very cheaply made. Um, so, yeah. It's easy does it, easy does it. So, sometimes you can push it, sometimes you can't, but obviously we've got uh, segments down there that we need to be very careful of. Um, I think what's doing it is this little section up here. Let's see if we can get that out of there very carefully. I like to use a rocking motion. Now, it's not that thick, but I can tell this is proper delicate and stuff. So looking at this, we're then gonna get ourselves two, three, and four. Now looking at that, I would have assume and presume that that is these parts here because obviously we've got uh, that part here which is the main structure and then we've got one either side of it so I'm assuming that's what we're going to be using next as you can see from here you can see it goes into that slot there so yeah I reckon they're the bargain bucket on this one so uh, what I'll do on here is I'll make like a what I do is I create, I get access points in. So what I can do is if I just gently cut it, it gives me an opportunity to get access into the side of it. And um, yeah, so really, really quite cool indeed actually. So just do that like so. And then we'll just get that there. If we can just gently sort of rotate that out extremely delicate and as I said I'm not used to working on such a, a flimsy wooden craft this is definitely an experience because um, it's not really what I'm for you know I'm used to working on a much thicker cardboard but yeah Let's just see if I can make a little incision in that Don't want to come off, does it? <laughs> so I'll make that. I'll make her access point here and release that if I can. Still stuck. Wonder if we can just gently sort of. It's 
put into that little nook there. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. Okay, so this part here looks like it's going to be... It looks like that is going to go into the central one, which is here. And that will slot from the side and push into there from what I can see. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. This is what I'm saying, like, it's so delicate, but luckily it didn't break off. It's just slightly bent itself a bit, but that'll do us. Okay, and then we're going to get, looks like we've got a rounded part and then a thinner part. So it looks like it's these parts here. I'll be honest with you, I'm probably not going to get one of these paper ones again because they're really, really delicate. Um, now, well, that came out really easy, that one. <laughs> Marvellous. <laughs> okay, so I assume that this is probably the same sort of size, so that's going to go probably up the top one here, I should imagine. Into there, maybe. So like that. Just push it as far as way as it can, because then it's flush with the inside. And then we're going to get... I mean, there's no other ones that suggest it's like that, so I assume that that's what we've got here so we'll just create an access point there Get another one perhaps oh dear me this is extremely fiddly let me just if I try and get into that I need to free up room around here so I can prise that out you see so Trying to that's what I want, something like that. <laughs> this part of the top is extremely fragile. I've got to feel like working on someone's tooth. <laughs> Extraction. There we go. Okay, and then I assume that one's going to go down this side here. Now, obviously, if there's burrs on it, you can cut that off if you want to. It's entirely up to you if you want to do that or not. Um, whatever you feel comfortable with. Wow. Okay, cool. So that's them parts. And then it looks as if we've got to put all these angle parts on. Good God. Um, so really, they're all these sort of parts. We'll keep that for that. That's for something. These are all these little parts around the edge, I, sh I assume. Um, so we'll get them out as well. And... Um, I really am missing the Addy Slow Bar. Um, I miss working on it, but since obviously new people have took over, it's just gone completely bellies up at the moment. Um, so, you know, if they don't sort it when I go in there next week, then I'm having words with the manager because I do like to give people a chance to fix things, but I mean. <sighs> You know, the idea is they're coming in, they're supposed to come in every week. So, while I appreciate this basket thing with them in, they're, they're still missing. They're not coming in when they're supposed to come in. And then and then she's like, oh, well, you're going to have to order it online. Um, no, I pay for it to be delivered to the shop. So, sorry about that, guys. Bloody phone's playing up again. Let me just put the... Uh, cable in so yeah um, there's such sad news about that um, Titan as well isn't it um, but it's now emerged that apparently this banging noise was it, 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 uh, imploding and obviously imploding for anyone that don't mean 
exploded is outwards, but imploding is where it crashes inside. So, such a devastation there, but is it me or am I just like making this harder for myself? How do they expect people to get this all off? Wow. I'm not liking this, guys. It's too fiddly. I mean, look, that's what, like... Good God. <sighs> and obviously I've got the heat against me as well at the moment so let me just let's get a bit that has to cause a bit of havoc I need a pair of them um, micro lenses for the wine uses, you know, them white goggle things. Okay, so my understanding is these are supposed to go like all around the edge of here. I think that's probably a bit too pushed further back. Oh crap. Maybe about there. Yeah, that's probably where I want it. And then obviously these must connect onto the side of here. Oh, this is really thim flimsy. Oh, wow. Let's try one of them. Let's put, let's put one into there. Maybe that will hold it for us, maybe. If it's not lined up, it will not go in there. Hmm. I'll try this way for the minute because it's really, really... <laughs> I think that's upside down. Goes in there, and then that one goes in there. Aha, there we go. Well, it's a little bit on the bent side, but hmm, interesting. I mean, does it need to go back a bit or not on the bent side there? I don't know why that's doing that, but it's on. <laughs> Probably to give it like a, a swim sort of effect to it, I suppose. Okay, so what one do I want to go with next? Let's try and release some of these ones, maybe. I think these might be the very back ones, maybe. So I always should have a craft knife, but I can't remember where I put mine. However, I've just had a cunning plan. I 
These are a bit dangerous. I got them on Timu, but it's spring loaded, so I can't like let it go there and then hold it. Oh yes, I can. Okay, brilliant. But as you know, I don't like these type of things because they have a habit of falling out. Okay, so looking at this one, that will probably go right at the far back, I assume. about you guys but I, I just feel like this is like really out of shape ah oh that's what I'm looking for something like that but I assume that they go yeah it's something like that okay can you see it's like this is kind of the neat like reinforcement what's that just fell off It's not very good, but then for one pound, what do you expect? <laughs> why did I do this tonight? Just why? Oh, man. Let me get my seat. Oh dear. I reckon this goes on it, probably one on the inside here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the pieces out and then we'll make a decision from there because that a burr that looked like a bit of a mashed up, a mashed up burr there. Let's see if I can cut that off. Have another go at this one here. I don't understand why this is going on on like a slant, but for some apparent reason. Oh, 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 yeah, that's what I want, bellissimo. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, there we go, there we go. It just needed a little bit of pushing, but not too much. This is the thing, because it's a bumper, you can't push too hard, but yeah, there we go, rock and roll. Hey, rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's your body body in it. Yeah man. Patrick Truman. Yeah man. Oh my god, talking of East Dentist, yeah, they bring back bloody um Peter Law uh, Thomas Law who played the very first like Peter. Like, I can't believe it. Like wow. See there's one there, like what is that for? Oh, <laughs> oh I'm happy now. Happy, happy, happy. Amazing what you can find on Timu. But yes, this is um, this little thing I normally do on my craft channel, but because we've literally got all the part works that come to a halt at the moment uh, that I do, so I thought, well, I'll temporarily put this on here. Um, 
because I don't really do wooden crafts on here. Um, eventually it will be phased out, but... Ooh. But the thing is, is I'm not really sure if there's a keyhole here, like a keychain. I'm not sure if that would be classed as like a, a weapon if you was to take it out with you. See. I'm not too fussed about the burrs on here because what I can do if need be, if I really want to, I can do a little bit of this. A little bit of soap. Well, wash away. La, 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 la. That's another shorty body one. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so what is this one? This is like Rata the Fun, Doki Doki. See, see. Yeah, there we go, that's. I can try the front for the looks of it. Doki Doki. Yeah, baby, we're rocking and rolling. Oh, I love the world. Oh. Oh. Don't worry, I'm not in pain. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to get this bloody boo off. But yeah, I, I'm pretty confident that I probably won't buy these paper version ones again. They are okay, but they're very, very tiny. Ooh. Looks like I'm plucking a feather out of parrot. <laughs> just get a bit of... Uh, it's nice when you get to use like different tools because these files don't really come out an awful lot, so um, don't really have a reason to bring them out. Okay, so this one going to in it, in it, blood, in it. What's that going in it? Oh, this is a little bit on the tough side. It's not going in. What's going on to her? Oh no, man. Oh, I'm not gonna force it, but you see, it's much flush on this side than it is on that side. Oh no, man. What's going on? Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not force it. You can just have a bloated out stomach. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so with this, this one. So I think these ones are for the far back. I mean, cutting them out like this shouldn't really do it because it can blunt it. But I've not actually sharpened these ever since I got them from the World of Wayne Emporium shop. They're great to work with. Half past eight. And I still won't have my dinner. It's just been manic today and yeah. I'm not actually hungry to be fair, but it is what it is on that film, but I just want to sit down and watch TV, but I was like, I've got to get this fish done. <laughs> when I start a project, I want to finish it, yeah? Let me talk about
My hands are not built for this job. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so I think this one, this one just goes like that, in it? Oh. I'm gonna struggle with this. I might have to get a tweezer for this part because it's very, very tiny. Then it gets it in. <laughs> C17. So let's try C17 on this one here. This is very delicate on this part. So please go in, please. I behold a little pepperoni. Oh, you little gate. It's fell off, in it. Oh, don't fall off. Please do not fall off. Hopefully the, another, the other one I've got is not a fish related, so hopefully that one will be a lot more better. But if need be, I'll glue it on, there's no problem. I glue it. Okay, persevere and we do it. <laughs> Do you remember that time I cut myself on, um, I think I cut it on my blade and World of Wayne was like, I'm looking at you Mike Anderson. <laughs> don't know what, I, I can't even recall what I, happened but... Funny thing is, is I'm not really a tweezer person. I I like to go full on with my hands and try and I think that's probably went the right wrong way. That's probably why. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm not really a uh, tweezer sort of person. I like to go full in with my hand and that. But uh, yeah, that seems to have uh, gone on and uh, botula bosh. See that's fell off again. Oh no, man! I'm gonna have to glue that. Black thing. I'll do different um, post production. Oh, look at that! Nice clean cut. I like that. Thank you very much. Come on, get that in the please. I think I'm gonna put it on the wrong way. No? It just doesn't really grip it very well. I mean, you see, it's fish. It's sort of sliding in its. You try that way. Can't go that way, but. Uh, 
Yeah. I'm gonna try and put this one into this one then. There we go. Aha. Right. So, which one we do after this? Okay, so this door is there. Thank you very much. Now this one's quite the fun because I think something else gets connected on there, so yeah. But yes, we do have Optimus Prime. I can't wait because as I said, the Agora one is like cheap tacky plastic and old fashioned sort of looking, whereas Fan Home are the Michael Bay version, so I'm very excited about that. And as I said, I was all geared up for ti um, Titanic. I was all geared up for, um, you know, to do the Optimus Prime with Gore, but after seeing what it looks like, I was like, oh, gee, I do not like it. <laughs> so when, fa it was just, uh, just, it was like Christmas had come early when the, uh, <coughs> Van Home stated that they were going to do that one, so because obviously it won't be too much longer before the Dodge finishes, because that's like what 120 issues. I'm up to 80 something, um, and I really must start to construct that. I mean, I deal with so many models; it's some you just forget about. So this one, my understanding is something connects onto here, so I assume that goes onto this one here. Yeah, good luck here. Ooh. It's going to be a very, very tight, but yeah, that should do it. See, it's not flush, and that's what is really annoying, but uh, it's like this beam here is like not correct but I'm not going to fuss around with it too much if it's on it's on even if it's not all the way I'm not fussed it'll probably end up in the bin anyway so it's as I said like this is only like a temporary thing until the part works pick up again so oh 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 that's really really loose in these sort of things are cheap as bricks, so. But it's been an experience, definitely. But I've got a few um, other surprises along the way, so. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That one went in perfect, but there's a slight gap there, but as I said, I'm not going to fuss around with it too much. But, and then we've got to do one there and then one there on this side and then it's just the framework for it but I'll have a twin I'll have a tweak of it and uh, that will go in my bathroom because I'm making a C theme I'll show you something else if I remember in a minute because um, one of my friends he's got a bathroom and it's very very interesting what he's done because he's turned it into like a, a lifeguard sort of place so in his bathroom, he's got like a fish net that hangs on the wall. He's got crabs as like stickers. They're like laminated stickers that hang on the wall. Um, the floor is all sort of like, you know, that lovely wood decking flooring. And it feels like you're walking into like a, a sea life centre, you know. It's really beautiful. I don't know why I'm cutting around here for, because the bit we need is there. But I must have got sidetracked the there. Whoops. But yes, I'm hoping to bring, um, is it Robo Life or Robo Time? Um, Building with the Boys does that. And uh, I quite like that carousel he's got. And the, um, who was it that had that? It looks like teacups, you know them teacup rides that you sit in? I can't remember, I don't know if it was Building with the Boys or someone else, but. I can't remember. But literally trying to catch up with everyone's build diaries and build videos, I'm literally probably about a year backlogged on everyone. So I'm trying to get to it as quickly as I can, but 
I do run five channels and it's extremely difficult. People often ask me how do I do it and <laughs> I don't know to be frank. <laughs> We're getting there. Oh, you beauty. Come out beautiful. Thank you very much. See, see. Why do we have four on here yet? We've only got one on there. That does not make any sense. What the hell? must be one missing because this one has an extra one on oh come on <laughs> I can't be doing this all night I want to eat I am very grumpy at the moment because I've I'm like a robot I don't sit down I need to eat and I'm doing this Ah, there it is. What is this one then? That must be this. Hang on a minute. That must be that side. Because this one is this one. As I said, it'll probably end up in the bin, this one, because uh, it's only like a trial sort of thing that I've tested. Um, but that one looks like it goes in D. I'm gonna see if I can just move that around. For some reason this beam here is struggling, but uh, I think these are all supposed to be gills of the fish. But, um, yeah. But we have some really exciting things cropping up soon. Um, as I said, apologies, it's a little bit intermittent. Um, but we have issues with this bloody news agents at the moment, and it's just causing havoc. Uh, hmm. That's interesting why one is, look, you see you've got a long one and then the short one and a long one and a short one, but I love things that look oddly out of shape, so I'm happy with that. <sighs> Thank God for that. Right, so, after that we've got a slonge. Oh, lovely. So we've got to go deep in this one. Somehow, I don't know, I've got to do some diamond painting later for the other channel and I don't think I'm going to get to it tonight. Because um, I'm supposed to be doing a rainbow rose and yeah. It's been too busy. This is what I'm saying, like, I have to come in and then just start. I don't get no time to myself. I just I'm busy, 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 busy. Ah, oh, right. So these sit on this little. Oh, wow. This is very, very delicate. Oh, blimey. <laughs> Don't do this. No. Oh, it looks like it's going to go. Sting you. Oh, scorpions now. <laughs> oh, la la. We're getting there. Come on, we can do this. Superman. It was a video, it re um, I have flashbacks, and uh, apparently I, in one of the videos, it's n I was testing something, but I said, it's now time for the ultimate taste. But, uh, yeah, um, I try not to think about that too much because it brings back memories 
Memories all alone in the moonlight, not a sound that between us. That one's gone fishing, sounded up in the sink. Oh my god, Jet, I'm not even joking. My brother put my nephew in the bloody sink to have a bath in. The bloody sink. But then having said that, you know, back in the day, they would, you know, use sinks, um, then metal, big, rusty old metal tub things. Horrible bloody baths they were. Just a metal tub. <laughs> I don't understand why we got loads of this. What we got loads of this for? What the hell? Well, this is definitely, I think these are probably spares maybe. Yeah, they're probably spares because you've only got two on this platform down here. So they're probably spares. But um, yeah, wow. Okay, what I'd like to do next is, there's a little fin here, they're probably spares. I'll tack on them later. Um, but we've got this one here. Let's see if I can just wiggle that free. Close it up. <laughs> oh god. Um, where's this one go? Hmm, what like that? Oh no, man. I'm gonna go like this. What are you talking about? Let's put that there for the minute. Let's put this one. That one, that one, this is one. And this one, I don't know what that one is, so I'm gonna leave that. This has definitely been one of my trickiest ones to date, you know. The Incredible ones, which is where you get the Aragog, which I've done on my craft channel, Crafts with Mike. Um, they're much more easy to do. But these paper ones, gee whiz, I saw it on Timu and I was like, do you know what, I'll give it a go. I should try, you don't know. So this apparently is supposed to sit like that. Wow. Okay, but that is doing it this way. Hmm. So it's supposed to sit like that. Like hello. Oh my god. Um, I don't think that looks right to me because how can it be like that when the towel is supposed to sit into there like that? This can't be. Well, what, what the? How can it sit like that? Like, hello? What the hell? How can it sit like that? Like, oh my god. Oh, I see. So this one, right. They flip under like that way. Okay, okay, get in there. Get in there. I see. Doing this reminds me of that fish in, um, you know, finding Nemo, you know, the gill, the gill fish. So that is supposed to sit in there. Oh, gush, 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 Oh, this is very, very difficult. Oh no. Oh my kitty on. Put this one into there, come on, wood men. Probably fall out again, but well, giving it a, it a first try, I'm very impressed with that. Might need some reinforcing with uh, 
blue in bits and bobs, but now I've got to try and figure out what we do here. So, hmm, not good. Oh, assuming. Ooh. I don't really know how these ones go on because. Hmm. Ooh, unless it goes in there like that. So I can it goes in there like that. Hmm. I don't know it's this one. Let's <laughs> have a closer inspection. I'm not sure because if we look, they've actually got, oh right, yeah, that's an op that's naughty, that's an optic illusion. They're putting that up there, but it actually goes right there near the eyeball. So that's naughty, naughty. I think you get two of these to shove in there. Ooh. I think that would be the one for me. I want to put in two there. Ooh. I'm happy with that. Oh my god, this is very, very... Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, go in there. Please, 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 push, 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 push. No, I'm not Mr. Bean. <laughs> oh, crumb. Okay, so this is the oh you oh he's dead, he's collapsed. <laughs> we had a fish. I'm not even joking. This is a true story. So this fish we had years and years ago jumped out of the fish tank. We were you know cleaning them out, and he fell behind the back of the freezer. So we heard this flipping. So we you know tried to help him out of the tank and that. Uh, so we had the back of the freezer and it had all paper stuck to him and he was rock hard. So we put him in the water, um, just hoping and praying that he would come back to himself. And my, all of a sudden I felt water on my back and just out of the blue it started swimming, swimming around. But because of the impact of it hitting the floor it did sadly pass away a couple of days later. But I'll never forget that. Oh, well, I think that's this side. Come on, this one, this one, this one. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Please go in the hall. Please. <laughs> This has got to be the most difficultest one I've ever done. Wow. This is very, very. Yeah, I think these are just like spare ones, maybe. These ones here, because I don't think they really have a purpose. Always get one, didn't ya? Always bloody one. What is going on with this spoo? Let's chop that back a bit. Something wrong with this. Might just put an unboxing video up tonight because I don't think I'm gonna get to the uh, rose tonight. It's really busy. But I'll have to have a look at that thing because it's um, a bit mushed. But just to get the idea, is this supposed to sit? Um, 
it's supposed to sit so this is supposed to go like that up the u-bend like that then this one is supposed to go up the u-bend Well, this is definitely an old fudge cake. Have to do a bit for repair. Oh crap! I have to do a bit for repair on that. But you get the idea that it sits in there like that. Um, that has been really difficult to do. Um, I probably won't get these paper ones again. Um, but as you can see, it sits. It's supposed to sit in there like that, but. Yeah, I've really sort of had difficulty with that, but I'll try and do a bit of a repair on it. Definitely needs gluing in. Um, definitely. I mean, it's so fragile. Oh, this fish is not having it, but you get the idea. It's supposed to sit in there like that with the two fat with these support things and it's supposed to sit like that but yeah I'm I'm gonna call that a session I think because uh, I need to do some repair work um, wow oh, that has been a challenge and a half but you know it is what it is it's only one pound thing so I don't intend on keeping this um, it was just something to you know it is a shame I would have loved to have kept it but you know I I don't think I can repair it beyond it's beyond repair for this one I think I mean obviously if I could tack that there that'd be great um, let me get see if I can Actually, I want to see, I want to finish faster than that. Okay, I'm 9 o'clock, BBC News, then bedtime again. See what I mean? Never enough time in the day for me. What I'll do is I'll just put a bit of glue there and a bit of glue in there. I'll just see if I can tack that there a minute. All it needs is it, it, it's just too sort of heavy for the type of stand it is. If we just hold that there for a couple of minutes, should be able to let us uh, hold that down for a bit. I think I can salvage it, it's just it's a little bit too heavy. See, now it's okay, but what I'll do, I'll leave that there for a couple of minutes to set. But if you want to get it, it's called Paper Art and it's Angelfish. Brought to you by the lovely company that is Timu. If your delivery is late, you get a fiver in compensation, which you get as a credit on your account towards, you know, other things. And um, yes, he, they ship on the plane, and then it lands over here. But you get tracking all the way, and yeah, some wonderful, wonderful things in there. The, the other thing I've got that's similar to this is going to be really good, and I'm looking to paint it up as well. So, um, yes. yeah, that will be that, guys. So, uh, let me just give it a couple more minutes and I'll uh, just do a bit of tidying up here in the uh, Art Attack room. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I loved Art Attack. It's a shame I ain't got it anymore, but there is an eyeball. This thing sits at the back on that peg that came loose. So, once that's set, I'll go back over that. Let's not put one, no. There's one on the others. Yeah, that's a bit of a spare. That one's near enough for spare. This one is not. But yeah, what I'll do is once that's set, I'll do a little bit of a repair work on there. That I think that has set actually. Let me just see if I can get let's get a bit of this. We really want to get the whole tub out, you see. So let me try and get right down into there. Oh crap! That's why I didn't want to go in there. <laughs> But with my brushes, I don't clean them out. It's just cheaper. To, I can't be asked to sit there and clean it all out. Um, so for me, I just tend to. For me, I just tend to um, rebuy them. They're so cheap on the Timu.
thing is though, how's that eye supposed to connect onto it? Because apparently this eye is supposed to go at the tail. So, hmm, I don't know. Investigation work. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how that's supposed to connect, but I think... No, it's an optical... Look, they've done it again, look. That tail says it's at the back, that little nugget bit, but it's actually at the front. That goes on there. So why are they telling us to pull it at the back then? See what I mean? It's so confusing. So what we'll do is let me get that eyeball out a minute. This apparently sits on this part here. Oh crap, something's coming loose. Yeah, so see it's got an eyeball. A little it's like them poppy fish. You know them fish that um, got that bloody bulging eye? I don't know what they're called. They're not shabunking because a shabunking is a multicolored fish. Um, they're not a tiger bay because um, tiger bays are like a stripy fish, um, normally in a triangular shape. But yeah, okay, so let's put the other eyeball on then. But yeah, I think these are just spares because there's another two here which to me that looks like it's. A spare um, unless you're going to put two of them on but I'm quite happy having one on so yeah I think they're personally just spare ones there um, I'm not going to put another one on since we got the glue out I've had more faith in it now <laughs> so what I might do is just put I did spray clean this today I found this lovely um, anti back I do love my cleaning products let's just get there it might be better with a cocktail stick but um, does that and I might put, just put that doesn't matter if it's too much glue because I can wipe that off with a damp cloth but that's more like it in it yeah there we go little fishy's got an eye and then I need to put there's a bit of a problem what was it down here that had a problem if I put that one I might just tack that there, you know, I'm quite happy with that being tacked there, so I'll just put a splodge into that hole, yeah, that'll do nicely, because if I play around with that too much, that's going to shear off there, and that sits there quite comfortably, so I'm happy with that, and then all that's left to do is I need to have a look at something's not right there, because it's bulging a bit, um, and then obviously all that's left to do is to put this other little handle on so the other uh, Fluge, but I need to have a play around with that because there's something it looks like it's bent slightly there but that is staying on my worktop now now that we've used some reinforcement with that um, with the Gorilla Glue this stuff is lovely um, five pound a bottle I paid for this and Gorilla Glue, any time I get glue, it's always this make, as you can see. Um, it took me years to decide whether I wanted to use brush on glue, but yeah, I only ever get brush on glue if it's super glue or I go for Gorilla Glue. Um, I have used the Tacky Wacky or whatever it's called um, in the past, but this bottle can last me quite some time. I mean, obviously, I don't really do an awful lot uh, wooden models, but. Um, Fear not, because the Vaso is going to be sort of up and running soon. Um, but yeah, I'll have a play around with that. But yes, I'm very happy with that now. And it feels more like it's secure. It's not falling off, as you can see. But that was a testing... Um, I think what it is with this, I'll tell you what that is. I think that goes around that way. Maybe that's what's given the optical illusion. Yeah. But yeah. That looks really cool. Yeah, that looks a bit better maybe, or maybe I'll, I'll swap it around because it's still a little bit off-centre with this one. But yeah, I'm happy with that. That's going to stay in my little room. Now, before I go, I want to show you that thing that I got because I'm going to... My friend's got this seawall garden thing in his bedroom. Uh, sorry, in his barge. In his barge, where it could be on the barge, but... <laughs> what a name for a ship, a barge. Um, but anyway, let me just go and get that thing. Um, I will show you. So again, this came from, this came from Timu, 
And as I said, my friend's got a bathroom that's got all fishnet, crabs, you know, it's like a sea life centre. And I, I want to do that. So that's really why he sort of inspired me to get this because that's what I want to do. I want to put that on my little shelf that I've got in the bathroom. And then I found these and they, they're like cheapest bricks, 38p. And you can actually, um, they're selected at random, but I thought that would be a nice design to go with that. But obviously this might go on one of the tiles in there. I'll put a bit of hot glue on there. Or like, what you need is like a self-adhesive sticker and then it will stick on the tile. And I'm gonna try and make it into like a sea life sort of bathroom with the cargo net and, oh yes, it'll look great. But anyway, really, really happy with that now that I've sort of, it's very delicate, but yeah, maybe I'll do another one, I'm not sure, but I'm really, really over the moon with that. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. As I said, this is a temporary measure until the part works sort of itself out, um, which I'm hoping will be um, this week. But if not, I will give them, uh, I will push them more because this is ridiculous and it's causing delays. But on the plus note, I do get longer to build the Eddie Stobart, which is good, because I really don't want that to end yet. I'm really enjoying that. Um, so in a way it's sort of doing me a favour because it means I can spend more time building it. But anyway, that's that, the angelfish from Timu, um, if you want to get it for yourself. And uh, I think I paid like one pound something, it is so, so cheap. But please remember to like, share, subscribe, tap the bell if you want to be notified of all the videos I do. And I will see you in another, I will see you again soon for another video, hopefully a part work very, very soon. But as I said, the Agostini came today and uh, what's in there is very impressive, but that's going to be coming up some point next week. Take care, guys. Catch you later.